Yo, what's going on guys? It's Territory Gamer here, and today I've got a video for you guys regarding Call of Duty Ghosts. So we're really close to the launch of Ghosts. We're only about seven days away, which is really good, and of course I will be getting it on launch, and I will be doing a lot of videos for you guys, covering everything that I can possible. Now, first of all, I want to be covering some different information in this video regarding the maps. I've also got a comparison between the Xbox One and the PS4, and I also have some other information about the different game modes that will be available in Ghost as well. But I have been doing a lot of GTA recently, and I want to start merging back into Call of Duty, because this channel is pretty much Call of Duty based and I've just been merging into GDA as that was the game that people were focusing on. But now since Battlefield and Call of Duty Ghosts are now coming out, I'm going to start to merge back into those two games. Now the first part of the news I have for you guys is about the Xbox One and the quality that it will be supporting for Ghost. Now this is sort of sad news for the Xbox One users like myself. It's been revealed by IGN, it's sort of been rumoured that the Xbox One will only support 720p when the PS4 will support 1080p. Now, I'm not exactly sure if it's been upscaled or if they are going to upscale it or anything, but it is rumoured at the moment that the Xbox One will only support 720p, which is sort of sad if you're comparing it to the PS4, which is going to get 1080p. So that's sort of the sad news in this video I wanted to briefly touch on. Of course, none of this has been confirmed yet, but this is rumoured by IGN, so it is most likely going to be correct. Now, the next bit of news I have for you guys is about what game modes will be included in Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer. Now, this was leaked by some user that has played the game, and I will be going through all of them for you guys. Now, first up, we have TDM, Free For All, Search and Destroy, Domination, Kill Confirmed, Search and Rescue, Grind, Blitz, Cranked, Infected, and Hunted. Now, some of them we didn't know was going to be in Call of Duty Ghosts. We knew a few of them, and I believe IGN is currently going through all the game modes and showing gameplay and explaining how each one works, which we're going to see a lot more. But Node Extinction is not in this particular area, as I believe it is part of Squads, and it is a co-op based mode, and it's not multiplayer. So we're really going to have to see. I really don't have any information on Extinction for you guys at this stage, but when we do get information, I'm hoping we're going to get information in the next few days. I will be putting a video up, no notifying you guys exactly what it is, but they are the game modes that will be included in Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer. Now also have the 14 leaked maps that have been revealed as well. Before we have seen some of these maps, but we haven't seen all of them. Now the first one is called Prison Break, the next one is called Octane, then we have Tremor, Freight, Whiteout, Stormfront, Siege, Warhawk, Sovereign, Stonehaven, Overload, Chasm, Flooded, and Strike Zone. So they are all the maps that are currently in the game. That's not including the DLCs, of course. They're all the base multiplayer maps that the game will be coming with at launch. Now, the last piece of information I have for you guys is that Call of Duty Ghost will be in two discs. So I'm not sure if one is going to be multiplayer and one is going to be single player, or it could be similar to GTA 5, how you had to install the disc. Now, there's sort of rumours on both sides, but I'm guessing you're probably going to have to install it to your hard drive, because I believe I did see that somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed, of course. Make sure you hit the like button, it helps out a ton. I'll be uploading a ton of Call of Duty Ghost videos when it does come out. Custom classes, gameplays, and a lot more, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. Make sure you guys have a comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't of course, to keep up with all the latest Call of Duty content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.